Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Risk of Rain 2 modded. We are jumping in once again and I have installed a bunch of new mods actually. Um, I know that we already had quite a lot but I just went hunting around on the web and had a look at what people's suggestions were for some other mods. Uh, that includes some different character mods as well as just some quality of life mods, things like that. There's quite a lo lot of different stuff. I can probably uh, speak through a few of them actually um, on my recent mods list. So we got a bunch of different ones that are basically just um, different quality of life mods. So we've got like anti-boss softlock, alias spawns, AI tweak, a um, few different gameplay tweaks. We've got the paladin mod, the pathfinder mod. Apparently genetic artifact, this one. It adapts the enemies to your run the late you get into the run. So basically enemies health or speed or fire rate will adapt based on what you're doing and it changes every run and it seems like really really cool. I also got Unlock All so that we have all the skills unlocked and everything, just because I think the game's going to be more fun uh, that way for us. I got the Item Exchange Notifier, that seems really cool. The Ravager, which is another um, modded class. Uh, some really, really cool stuff. I'm really excited to try them all out. Um, and as you can see, we've got tons of characters to play around with now. Absolutely tons. The Ravager is this guy right here. I think we're going to play as them in this episode, to be honest. He seems really cool. Um, but yeah, we, we do also have the randomizing loadout and randomizing uh, character now as well. So that's pretty fun. But yeah, I think we're going to play Ravager here because he seems like the most fun um, for us right now. And we'll probably stick with his default loadout for now, just to see what we can do with him. The Ravager can jump off walls and enemies. Wall jumps can be charged for a mighty leap. Very interesting. Uh, the Ravager stores up blood with his strikes, draining when full. Heals you for 75% of missing HP and empowers skills temporarily. We swing forward um, for 230% damage while using a char... Use while charging a wall jump to instead enter a hold stance. Interesting. And lunge forward and provide a wide st sl stunning slash and then instantly drain the blood um, of... Instantly drain the blood well, healing yourself with blood consumed, and then we've got lunge and grab nearby enemies and slam down for 1,000% damage. Consume them and restore 10% maximum HP. Sounds really cool. Sounds really cool. We also do have some alternate skins for this guy. Um, I think we're going to stick with the default for now. We're just going to stick with Thunderstorm. That's my favourite difficulty for now, um, because it's a little bit harder, but not a lot harder. Um... And while we're sort of learning the game again and getting back into it, I think it's the best one for us. So let's jump in as a Ravager here and see what we can get done. Um, this is a character that I was suggested uh, by Charcola, who's one of the moderators on my Discord. Um, but I'm excited, I'm excited. Lovely stuff. I can't reach him. Okay, so that that's our movement skill there. Mouse 2 is going to be one of our movement skills. We can sort of strike up towards enemies. This here, um, I want to see how the wall jumping works. Boom. I love that air jump. How exactly does the wall jumping work? Oh, it literally just lets you... Okay, interesting. Okay, so the, I need to check what this skill does again, because I'm not really sure. As you can see, the amount of enemies spawned early on is drastically increased. Uh, that's part of our uh, mods as well. You can use that R ability here to grab and slam an enemy. Okay, that's a lot of fun. There's actually a hell of a lot of wisps here, um, which is really bad for my current HP with uh, this many of them. And then we've also got our R ability, which is, I think the R ability is the pickup. Okay. I need to get away from these guys because they're going to kill me if I'm not careful. I do not have very much health regen right now. Let's get a sentry turret here just to try and take some of those out while we walk around because I'm not super confident I can get away with my health right now. We get the mostly tame mimic, which is rather nice. Uh, I just need to check what our, uh, which ability is it? This one, yeah. The up arrow ability. I need to check what that does. My god, it's like literally only wisps right now, and it's it's not very good for us at all. I love, that ability is so damn cool. Especially considering it's a movement skill as well. Right, what does our up arrow skill do? Instantly drain the blood while healing yourself with a consumed blood. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So basically, this this thing on the right is our blood well. Yeah, okay, I see, I see. So the reason we don't have a lot of health regen is we want to be slashing enemies and that little circle to the right there is our blood well. As we fill that blood well by hitting enemies, um, 
we can then use the up arrow to drain that well to heal ourselves, which is why we have basically no health regen. I'm a little confused as to why we're um, why we're basically only seeing wisps so far, though. <laughs> like literally only seeing wisps so far. Uh, maybe maybe that's to do with the um, the AI thing I was telling you about, where it like picks different enemies and changes them based on what you've got, because it makes sense to pick air-based enemies when we're a melee character to make it more difficult for us, right? That's also a new champion there, I believe. Good, good. My god. It's literally only wisps. It's, it's, it's troubling. That's what it is. It's troubling. I think I might die. Honestly, bustling fungus, I need you right now. Oh, thank you, Bustling Fungus. I needed some way to heal. I need a way to more quickly fill my well as well. Okay, let's try and get some more stuff going on here. I'd like to uh, move around a bit quicker here, but it's a little difficult. I keep pressing the wrong goddamn skill. It's, right. it's normally my mouse button to um, my up arrow button, which is on my mouse, to have movement skill. But instead, with this character, it's right click, which makes things a little more tricky. I don't know what this is, but I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. Reduce fall damage and converts 100% of removed damage to your next attack. That's really nice, actually. That's a good idea. That needs to be right clicking to zoom forward. Although, I think it zooms towards enemies, so the zooming forward is, like, not great. Fire missile on taking heavy damage. Let's do some bustling fungus here while we wait for these enemies to come towards us. And then we'll slam them. Super useful to have bustling fungus. I don't think I've ever, like, loved bustling fungus so much. Oh, that felt real good, man. That felt real, real good. I can use the damage they're dealing to me to sort of blast myself forward a little bit, but it's obviously not a lot of a blast. It's not amazing. Uh, is that crit glasses? I think I will take crit glasses, thank you. Seems useful to me. But yeah, you can see there's a little thing there that says, like, Titanic Plains from Vanilla DLC. It tells us what things are from. By the way, I wonder, is there a way to, like, offset my, um... Is it HUD scale? Hood scale, not really, although I will put it to 75%. I think 75% would be good. Um, I want to know if there's like a way to offset my, my hood, really. I also don't have everything on max for some reason. I should put everything on max. Why is not everything not on max? There you go. Why would it not be? Amazing. Yeah, I like this idea of the wall climbing as well. Being able to just easily climb up stuff seems super useful. What ability was it? Was it this? Jump on wall plus right click to hold a stance. I can't remember which one it was for the... Uh... Or maybe it was... Jump and then... <laughs> I absolutely love that, man. This, this character seems like he's going to get really wild later on. He's a little slow to start with, especially with all the wisps, but I imagine that'll get vastly improved later on. We'll take a random then. Why not? Medkit's probably pretty good for us here. And then our teleporter event is just down here. We've not really managed to get too many stuff, too many things here. <laughs> That's suplex, man. Uh, let's, let's go for this. Just, I swear this was here last time, actually, that exact location. A thousand damage... I don't know what that champion does, to be honest. Take you out. What boss we got? Ooh, we got greater... Greater Wisp. So there's, there's definitely some shenanigans going on right now with uh, how it's selecting enemies, because... We are getting kind of harassed. <laughs> And I think I might even die here, to be honest. Uh, 
And I can fill my well up pretty quick, actually. It's not too bad. I've just got to kind of pay attention and watch it. Oh my god, I'm getting absolutely trapped. Right. Stand here a minute, bustling fungus it up. <laughs> oh man. There's wisps there as well. I'm just going to let those guys hit me. Oh, they, they count as moving me? Are you kidding? This is brutal, man. Maybe one of these mods didn't really uh, work the way I was expecting, because this is this is savage. Okay, there you go. Got full HP there. And then you're all the way up there, which isn't great. Boom. I love that. Oh my god. Okay, there's one more guy up here, but I'm, he's kind of far away. He's actually fighting some of the other enemies for me here, which is weird. I'm not quite sure why he's doing that. I'm going to have to go up and chase him, though. It's, I mean, it's better that he's not fighting me, I'll be honest. I prefer that. But if every stage is just going to have wisps on it, I might need to change some of my mod settings here, because I wasn't expecting this. Um, I, I do reckon it's something to do with me being a melee-based character, and it's trying to sort of give me a challenge by uh, doing this. We got ourselves the horn. Rather nice. Right, go to the next stage and we'll see what we end up getting. I'm surprised we survived that, to be honest. That was tricky. That was tricky. I love the way this guy runs as well. He's still, like, hunched over. I mean, I already hear some ground-based enemies here, so I think we just got unlucky there. I hear it. I don't see it. Wisps there already. Ah, there's there's the little bugger. There he is, look. Ah, they're attacking my turret. Oh, he was invisible, that's why. Suplex you. Don't make me do it. Hot turret. Okay, this, this is more like it. We've got some flying enemies, but we do have some ground enemies as well. That first stage was just brutal. I really like that healing mechanic. You've got to, you've got to like manage it. It's not just like self-sufficient. You do have to pay attention to it and manage it. This guy, it just seems like he could scale so well. I absolutely love that slam that. I know I keep saying it, but it's just so satisfying to pick up an enemy and throw him. I do want to do it on a bigger boss though and see how it works with that. These lantern guys are shooting me at the moment as well from a distance. These guys are new as well, I think. We've got a good few new enemies here. The lantern guys are uh, a bit tricky. Oh, we got some ATG missiles going off? I don't know. Uh, actually, no. I'd, I'll be honest. Wh where have some of these items come from? I don't remember Malice. I don't remember getting that. I don't remember getting that. There's some items here that I, I don't really remember picking up, so... Someone might need to explain to me where I got those from. <laughs> ah, get slammed. Chat shit, get slammed. There's another few of these guys over here, look. The Latin's enemies are cool. I will say they don't quite fit the aesthetic of the game that I'm used to. But that is not, that's not a particularly bad thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got, like, slammed by something, like... I don't know what that was. Ooh, hello. Fire haunting skulls when healed. I mean, that's pretty good for this character, right? So, I do that, and then... Yeah, this is a pretty good combo for this character. I can essentially slice enemies and then heal, which will do some damage to enemies nearby. Boom. More chests for me. I've not actually seen what my teleporter is as of yet. Nail bomb. I really like the nail bomb. I have a green item over here. Oh, the fog's coming in there. 
Okay, luckily it isn't too bad. I want the cat ears. <laughs> oh my god, you see how far that launched him? Launched him so far. Okay, let's get the cat ears. I don't know what it does, but it seems interesting. While in teleport range, move faster and take less damage. I'm not quite sure why that's perfect earphones. I'm not sure what the relevance of, of that is, but there you go. We'll take it. Right, have we seen the teleport yet? I don't remember. Another chest over here. We could definitely use some movement speed on a melee character. That would be divine. Another med kit there. Beautiful. Give me you. Destroyed. Probably not the best to do that on a freezing guy without much movement speed, but oh well. Where is our teleporter event? It's always a bit tricky on this stage. Got a void thing over here, over there. I'll go grab it. Fog clears. I think the fog's a little bit bugged on certain um, certain stage aesthetics. Increase the duration of buffs, not bad. Upgrades your items at the start of each stage. Okay, that seems interesting. Although, probably not great, actually, now that I think about it. Because now we're, all of our items are going to change every stage, right? I mean, it seems interesting. But it does mean we're never going to, like, have a sort of defined build. Our items are kind of constantly be changing. Apart from the ones that are already legendary, I'm guessing they'll stay the same. Alright, let's try and get ourselves off of the stage, because I don't really know where we're going. I see a Mr. Invisibles. There it is, I see it. I see it. Hmm... I'm going to have to do some testing after this episode, because I believe the teleporters have been... Like, the stages are exactly the same both times here, and I'm not sure why. Like, literally these chests were here in the last episode and everything. This is strange. Like, the teleporter was exactly here, these chests were exactly... They're offering different items, I think. Um, But... It's, it's, it's the exact same, and I don't know why. I'm going to have to play a few runs after this and see if that's going to be like a recurring thing or not. Uh, it's, it's this boss again as well, actually. Same boss. It was great at Wisp last time, though, so that wasn't, wasn't the same. Oh, man. This is good. I love the fact that you can hold yourself in the air like this. Stop being healed, my guy. Stop being healed. Wait, where'd he go? I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. This guy reminds me of like, the megaphone head thing. Beautiful stuff. Portion of damage distributed over 5 seconds. Nice, okay. Lovely stuff. I've also got the teleports charged as soon as we kill the boss because I was kind of tired of weighing on the last few episodes. Yeah, so this is the same. That's... Th that triple one there. Last time it contained a, a bunch of actives. So let's see if it's an active one this time. There's not an active one this time, so it is somewhat different. But this is definitely the same stage as well. I It might just be a really weird coincidence that, like, the teleporters are in the very, very similar locations. Ooh. 
get slammed. That's pretty good, I like that. Not damage to bosses is never a bad thing. I really like that combo with that legendary item. It's really cool. Need 300 for that. To shame we don't have any range. I would like a like range attack. I mean that is somewhat ranged, I guess, but not sort of in the traditional sense. Where the fuck did you come from? Increase attack speed near the teleporter. We can get behind that. We can most certainly get behind that. Right, let's go find some other stuff. Oh, hello. I'll, uh, I'll come visit you. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. It's fine. You're still gonna die. Hehehe, <laughs> I just sit on your head. I don't know what that steam thing was that I got going on there, but... I like it. The thing is, like I said, a lot of the items, we're not going to know what's going on with them. Also, it seems that it says upgrades item at the end of every stage. I don't think it upgraded all of my items. I think it just upgraded some. Upgrades three random items. Okay, that's better. I thought it was going to be all of them for some reason, which would be absolutely nuts, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know why I even thought there was a possibility. Your attacks become slightly magnetic and gain crit. Ooh, that's actually pretty good for us, to be honest. Sucking enemies towards our attacks seems mighty useful. If we could get a few of those, I think that'd be pretty good. Move slightly faster, slowing effects impair you less. Rooting effects slow you down instead. That's pretty good. Can't be rooted. Right, let's make our way over this way. These guys aren't great test beds for uh, magnetic attacks because they move a lot. I like that stall you can do in the air with the swipe. So, if I remember correctly, the teleporter was right there behind that rock. So, if the teleporter's there again, we know something sus is going on. So let's go. Let's go figure that out. I mean, considering I haven't seen the teleporter elsewhere, I'm actually imagining it will be there. There's all, there was also a triple buy station underneath here, I think. There you go, there it is. Weird. <laughs> Very strange. I don't think I've ever seen that before, where it's like the same map twice. Because it's like the, ga the game doesn't even have seeds, so I don't even know how it's really happened. It, it, it was, like, right here, wasn't it? Yeah, there it is, look. Mighty peculiar. If anyone knows why that's happened, what mod could have caused that, let me know. Because it might just be a bug, and it might just not happen next run. Um, or it might be a specific mod I'm using has caused an issue. Or maybe a mod that I've downloaded is doing exactly what it's supposed to, and I didn't know. Luckily, we're killing him pretty quick. I believe this is also the same boss as well. That attack speed bonus is lovely. We'll grab ourselves that. And we get out of here. Smack down. <laughs> right at the end there. Move faster out of combat's nice here. We got one of these bad boys. Which, I don't know, they seems a bit strong. <laughs> okay, there's our transformed items. Don't want to use that while jumping for movement, really. I'm going to use it while on the floor, I get a lot more movement from it that way. Taking damage, gain a speed boost, that's really nice. I see you guys up there. I mean, these little missiles we're firing are doing a lot of work right now. They also go through walls. <laughs> oh, Goat Hoof. Very nice. 
It's, it's so weird how, like, we're getting the same map, yet it's, it's a completely different run from before. Even, like, the visual turns of each map are different than last time. So it still feels different, even though it is very similar. The only thing I'm not sure is if his chest positions are the same. Like, some things seem to be the same, but others don't. Like, I remember there had been a bunch of chests up here last time, and that's not the case this time, so... Is that the order-receive form thing over there? Probably is. That's 4.45, okay. Good. Oh, just missed the freeze. That's green I see I'm taking. Friends barrier here when you're at 59% HP. Nice. Yeah, that is our order form over here, look. Death mark is not bad, actually. Not bad. We could definitely see ourselves getting a bunch of effects going. Taking care of. I do think this guy, this character is at a lot higher risk of dying, just because I'm up in enemies' faces a lot more. Ooh, movement speed in the air is very, very nice with a character like this, actually. Hopu Feather uh, on, a, on top of that would be very nice. Get down here. I love the way you can just, like, take an enemy out of the sky and drag it down to your level. Ooh, having two of the uh, right clicks stacked up is very nice as well. For movement as well, uh, he is that guy. I don't know what this champion type is. It's got like some sort of shielding. And it does... Okay. That's very intriguing. So basically... Okay, that teleport's in the same spot as well as last time. Um, So basically, if I use that suplex ability on that enemy, that enemy like can't die while it's in a certain... while it's in that mode. And so therefore I can just like ride that enemy, essentially. Okay, that chest is definitely in the same spot. I remember that chest. Got an active here. Oh, I'm about to die. I even realized. Transform an item into this. Oh, God, I did die. Okay, so this begs the question now. If I continue and I ready up again, is it going to be the same stage? It's not. Okay, so this is this is definitely different this time. Whoa, Siphon Forest looks so different like this. What the hell? Oh, wait a minute. This isn't the stage I think it is, is it? If so, this looks... This looks so different. What the hell? Okay, so we've actually got enemies on the floor this time. So that first run seemed maybe bugged or something. That was really weird. Because I got, like, all floor-based enemies to start with. Ooh, it's like... Oh, I don't think I've ever done that before. When I filled up my blood, I, uh, I get, like, an empowered rage mode. Hello. <laughs> don't worry. I know that you fly, but not for long. <laughs> I want to see what the highest point suplex I can get, like from the highest point of a map to the lowest point sort of thing. That would be really fun. Drag an enemy out of the sky and drag them all the way down. That teleport was over there. So yeah, that seems to be just a one-time thing, which is, yeah, strange. So this enemy here, if I slash it, It'll turn invisible. Keep slashing it. It'll become visible again. And then I do this. Okay, it didn't work that time. Does that increase health regen? Yes, it is. Take all that. Where's the other one? Can I reach you from here? Oh, yes, I can. Just got to use that ability at the right time. Okay, hopefully we can get a bit more movement speed early this time around. 
Attack speed's very nice also. I do not mind if I do. But I'd also like another backup magazine for that, because uh, having the backup magazine to be able to um, use two of those is very nice. There's some popping with these weird trees here on the side. Look, there's that tree there. I was going on with that. <laughs> Yeah, this stage looks entirely different. So that, there's Teleporter. We found Teleporter nicely enough. There's a cave down there. Is that cave normally there? Oh, it's new to me. Here, periodically. That was good last time I got it. I'll take it. I'll definitely grab an active here. That's a very good active as well. I do like the Primordial Cube. Dragging enemies together is going to be very good for melee as well. Very good for any character, really, but melee especially, I can imagine it being quite good. Get suplex. I love the, I love the fact that suplex is also an insta-heal as well. Critical strike, seal difficult, 40% damage, breaks at low health, granting experience. So we'd rather that not break. Hehehe. <laughs> I really like this boost to spawns early game. It makes the game a little more difficult in the early game, but it makes it a lot less boring. Normally, the first two floors are like kind of snooze fests. Just movements people in the air. Again, like I said before, I quite like that. Characters just so stylish. I respect the characters they put a lot of effort into the style of. Right, there's a lot of stuff going on down there. Let's let's cube it up. Let's cube it up. And then see if we can get something going on here. So we enter this bleed mode here. Ah, so that's what was happening before. We get constant healing in that mode. I see. That, I didn't know that's what was happening before. That was an item we had. That's actually from this ability. Okay. Striking enemy increases critical strike chance against them until a crit lands. Very nice. Let's make our way through this little tunnel over here. And we'll make our way back over towards the um, teleporter. Basically, I just want to piss around for long enough for my primordial cube to become available again. I think that's going to be quite good against the boss. I think the coffee bag is good, if I remember correctly. Okay, and short stack and movement speed bonus as I accidentally interact. Well, yeah, that's pretty good. I wonder if there's anything that increases my range of my sword. Likely not. But yeah. Activating an interactable, gaining a boost of attack speed and movement speed is rather nice. Grab him out that blood. Yeah, so it's kind of like a toss-up. Do you want it to heal now? Or do you want to try and stack it all the way to the top and get constant healing and some attack speed bonuses? A little bit of risk-reward in that. It's all the timing of it. Who we got here? Beetle Queen. Not too bad. Oh, it happened again. <laughs> Maybe it's why while I'm doing that like thingy mode. Ultra mode, whatever you're gonna call it. Seems interesting. We got ourselves some handcuffs here, striking and uh, shackles and uh, shackle enemy attacks on hit. Oh, so like I can limit the amount of attacks they can use, I think. Yeah, it is. Okay, okay. Basically, while I'm in this mode where I've, I'm at my full blood potential, or whatever you want to call it, if I use my R ability, I can kind of like ride the enemy. <laughs> I don't know if that's intentional. I, it probably is, considering how well-rounded this character is. And I kind of like it. It's, it's it's fun. It is a fun one. We are, we are out of here now. We've got much better stuff, I think, this time around. And we have a better understanding of the character as well, which is always good. I do like the fact that you start with a bit of money now. I don't, I don't know why I am starting with a little bit of money, but it's nice. Increase one-shot protection, fraction, and invincibility time. Ooh, that's very nice. I did not know that was a thing that existed in, in an item, but I think that's a pretty good one. I feel so much more mobile already. Get suplexed. 
We need to be careful for those things, because they did quite a bit of damage to us last time. I do want to suplex this thing. But I want to ride it also. Woo! There you go. Three times in one grab. Okay, so basically that isn't... That that that, that, that just satisfies my uh, curiosity if it was an intentional thing or not. Basically, we can do like multiple slams if we grab them in that sort of state. I'm going to go up the jump pad here. Basically, just get an aerial view of uh, what's going on so I find out where our chests are a little easier. There might also be one up here. There's, rarely there is, but there might be. I think this is the default visuals for the stage. Bit of stun there. Yeah, the shackling attacks, I'm guessing it just disables one attack. You can see our coffee bag look giving us absolute stacks right now. Shrine of the Mountain. A little bit spooky, but we'll take it. See our teleporter over there. 3D printer here that we don't really need. Nothing over that way. That's the healing on teleporter event one. We don't really need that right now. Should look for a few more chests and then we'll uh, activate this bad boy. We've got plenty of money and we don't really see much there. Your heals can crit. That's kind of interesting. Especially with a character like this, actually. <laughs> <laughs> instantly spawned. Instantly suplexed. There's an invisible enemy next to me somewhere. I love these little enemies. There must be a modded one, right? Yeah, mod Ravager. I like it. They're cute. Another active item here. I doubt I'll want it more than the cube, but I'll check what it is just in case it's a modded one that's really good. Request a healing soda machine. No, thank you. Okay, it looks like we're out of luck for chests, to be honest. I'm not really seeing any more. Pretty lackluster stage overall. The fog is incoming. I can give that an item. My god, the, the fog is insane. <laughs> Luckily, I already knew where the teleporter was, otherwise I'd be having quite a hard time right now, I think. Right. Primordial Cube's about to be fucking amazing. We've got three of these Wayfares, which I'm a bit scared about, because these things do a lot of damage. Trying to heal whenever I can here. I think it's necessary. Oh my god, the Wayfares are insane, man. When there's this many of them, they're in the teleport and everything as well. I'm doing a good job of it so far, but I feel like at any moment I could die. I'm just trying to keep on top of the healing. Good time for the fog to clear. Okay, that went that went well somehow. That went well. And we get ourselves two of these. Big old attack speed bonus on our active being used. We like that. We like that a lot. Hey, we got the Fogbound Lagoon. This is um, a modded area, as you can probably tell. But it's a really cool modded area. Oh, you're getting suplexed so hard. Oh, suplexing you actually dislodged you from the ground, which is kind of funny. You are healthy, my guy. You are healthy. That's a healthy boy. I mean, hopefully it gave us a good amount of uh, money for doing that. Yeah, this is a stage that I genuinely thought was vanilla for a while, but it's it's actually a mod. 
It's it's a mod just called the Fogbound Lagoon. It's obviously a very, very good mod as well. Right. I'll take that. I don't know what that is. Touching an enemy makes it vulnerable to your next attack. I mean, that's pretty good considering we're melee, so don't mind that at all. We're going to be touching a lot of enemies, I'd say. Crowbar is very, very good for us right now. Get out of the ground, you. <laughs> That's so funny, that ability. Literally ride the enemy. Okay, what are we going on down here? Doesn't seem like we've got many, uh chests or anything down there. Oh, I like slightly poked my head above the water then. That's just a 3D printer, we don't care about that. There is an underground bit over here though. It's underground. It's already underwater. It's kind of double underground. Our teleport is actually under here. Weirdly enough. Yeah, that vulnerability to next attack thing is pretty good. Right, we're out of the water now. I really like the idea of the water and like it, like doing sort of the lower gravity to mimic being inside water effect. It's really, really cool. It's it, the, the one thing I will say is because of one of the mods I have on, which affects the visibility of water on the wetlands that we were just on, the water is, it does look a bit weird. It's a bit too easy to see through. Which is like another mod doing that. But then again, I think I'd rather have it easy to see through than hard to see through, to be honest. So, uh, it's kind of fine. Is that another crowbar I see? Yes, it is. We have, we have like, no money right now. Come, my ladies. Come, come, my ladies. Make your way over here. The jellyfish will fund my spending habits. Crowbar, good, good. Getting that first hit to be chonky. Yep, I slammed you. 2,000 damage, man. Our initial hit does like 1,500 there, though. Get that down. I was really le legitimately just putting that down for the attack speed boost, to be honest. As you can see, worthwhile. Why did... Whatever froze me, I don't even know where that came from. I think it was a jellyfish that I killed It was behind me or something. We were slightly faster. Nice one. We got that again. I like that. Backup mag I said I wanted, and we got... Right, I think we're ready to go. Teleport was over this way. Yeah, I like that, because we can, like, double dash into the air. I see you, teleporter. No Shrine of the Mountain this time. We did get a Zy Construct, which isn't ideal. Oh my god, I actually pushed him away there. Do you know what? Get down to the floor, if you can. I don't know if that's going to work. Oh my god! No! I... I don't know where it's gone. Did it, is it dead? It might be dead. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but it worked. I think it died. We get the Construct Special. Some of the construction killing elites. Oh, there was a portal here that I didn't even see. Blue portal, no. Sun Grove, sunny. Ooh, this area looks lovely in the sun. Wow. Whoever made this, like, palette mod is just a genius. It's such a good idea. Ooh, I want to know what this belt is.
Oh, that's mine. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, you're dead. Didn't have much time to say hello there. Can you get back over here? Oh my god, that guy's fast. <laughs> Where's boy going? This lad's zooming. He has he wants absolutely nothing to do with me. I will suplex you if I can. Right, back down to get whatever that belt was. I like the look of it. We've got a void crab here. Get a small chance to duplicate drones and turrets on purchase. Drones and turrets have a small chance to revive himself on death. Okay, stacking a few of those, it seems like it could be good. Be careful when I kill this crab, because it will do the explosion. I do like that little throw we can do. And fragility on air. Uh, fragility? I almost said fertility then. We're not making it fertile. That's, that's not the idea here. Again. No idea where that went. Oh, we've got Grove Tender there. Hello. Ooh, drone. We want to be buying drones. We've now got something that makes them duplicate, potentially. That one did not, unfortunately. Oh! I clipped through the map. I've never had that happen before. Can I just... Okay, I can't just get straight back into the map. I've literally never had that happen on Risk Rain before. Never seen that. Must just be like one of our moves was just like situated in such a place to clip through a weird bit of geometry. I, 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 I don't know about you guys, but I'm like, I absolutely love being a, like a bug hunter and just trying to find bugs wherever I can. Not something I can kill. Well, that Grove Tender's been, uh. He has been made into one of those things. Where's the last of our enemies here? Okay, there you go. We've got two left, and one of them's up here, apparently. It's one of these buggers. These things are too fast. Slam. There's only one left, apparently, now. Doesn't make things any easier, really. It, probably the Grove Tender, right? Since he's uh, all messed up. Whereabouts was he? It does, it does highlight them, but it's really goddamn hard to see. Make our way down over here. I think it is him, to be honest. I feel like it has to be. Just gonna wail on him for a little while. I love the fact that you can eat the bosses. Keep healing. This guy is tanky as all shit, man. What's his health on now? Okay, we've almost got him. Gimme you. Get out of here. It still says there's one monster left. Could be this, to be honest. That seems voidy to me. I want to pick it up. Where's he gone? Give me it. Okay, that didn't really work. It almost killed me, goddammit. Not the best thing to tango with. 
I think I saw my teleport, but I don't remember. Don't remember if I went past it or not. Let's continue looking for chests anyways, I think. That's probably the best idea right now. Definitely still need more movement speed. I keep forgetting that takes us all the way back over here. Okay, this is a, this is open now. I could open that if I wanted to, but I think it's probably not the best idea. I will definitely open this up. Upon activation, fires a number of rockets. Okay. Depending on the number of... Uh, the skill's cooldown. Okay. I like that. Yeah, I'll take him. Oh, I, I got two of them as well. He gave me two primordial, prim primordial cube boys. Something I wasn't expecting, but I love. Right. Find teleporter time. I'm in the market for new equipment now. Ooh, I will take the wax quail. Thank you. Have we not seen the teleporter yet? Seriously. There it is. I see it. I see it. Prioritize. Ah, I thought it was. Um, I mean, retention scrap is still pretty good, to be honest. But I thought it was um, something to do with that drones. That's nice. I'll take that. Your equipment. Oh, is this drones? Hey. <laughs> Yes, baby. I wonder if it'll create more. I wonder how this will work. Oh, we got the Ancient Wisp as well. This guy's a work in progress boss that was never added to the game that someone modded in. The amount of fire rate we've got right now, we're not having a problem with him. Seems like a pretty cool boss. Also a pretty dead boss. Blue portal, why not? It's just the shop. No! I went up the wrong way! No! My bad. I went off the wrong way. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. We've got plenty of money to spend in here as well, actually. Hey, fella. Infusions would be good. I don't know what this is, though. I want to buy one of these. After being hit twice, uh, receive a huge flat damage reduction from all attacks. Nice. I think we'll buy some uh, infusions. What's that? I don't know what that is, but it, it looks oh so tempting. Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it for now though. Let's go. Into the portal we go. Plummet to our death. I'll just try and do that just before you actually take damage. Not that it can kill you anyways, but still. Ooh, Sky Meadow. Titanic. Oh my lord. Okay, this, this is a beautiful look for Sky Meadow, man. This actually looks like a Sky Meadow now, because of the color palette. It's amazing. Can I do this? Can I jump off and then just go like... Whatcha? Yeah, <laughs> to negate my fall damage. Bye! <laughs> Pushing him off the map a little bit there. That's not really hitting, is it? Bring my guy into the ground in a way. Is that just a chill legendary chest right there? <laughs> What's that about? Keep our healing 
popped up. Doesn't help when you're healing everything, please. You stop. There's such a chill legendary chest there, but honestly, it's quite... It's going to be quite expensive for us to grab that. Fortunately, that's 3D print is a white item, not a green. If it was a green, we get it for free. These enemies are really painful because they, they just take so much damage. Also, these guys are firing Primordial Cube like this no tomorrow. It's beautiful. Having two of them is kind of a blessing. Oh, look at that. It's every like 20 seconds to fire a few of them. How am I not... How am I not yet at... Um, what on earth is that over there? Plus one drone. Destroy a drone for an item. Ooh. I mean, I love my drone, so no. But, interesting idea. Now, I could do I could do it now and hope that it destroys the right drones. I'm honestly not convinced it will. <laughs> Ran this little wisp into the floor a thousand times. I'm sorry, little bro. I love just taking down sky-based enemies with that. There's just port like like these fucking things from our primordial cubes everywhere. We're getting close to the thing. I think it's five thousand five hundred for our legendary chest. Storm is coming. My little drone buddies, don't you die on me. Don't you die on me. Because they aim at enemies as well, they're just constantly covering everywhere. This guy's literally stuck in the air in the middle of both of those, that's hilarious. Okay, we have enough now. Legendary chest, how art thou? Prevents debuffs instead of getting a temporary barrier, recharge over time. Okay, this, that seems quite strong. Don't know what that sword is, but I want it. Killing strong enemies permanently increases damage. That seems pretty good. And there was two chests over here. These boys be cheap. Slug is kind of nice. That's not great. And we'll go around the long way over here and see if we can find the teleporter. I can use that as a dash just to get closer to enemies. I can drone if I need to. One thing about the climbing walls is it doesn't let you smoothly jump up of slopes. Like normally it just kind of let you keep jumping, but the, the, the climbing, the wall climbing ability kind of means you. Sort of do this weird truncated jump. Got that. Feedback loop. I seem to get that all the time. Come you into the floor. About to get to clear. Back to daytime again. Actual coffee mug or a credit card. I'll take the coffee mug. Okay, an expresso, express boost on item pickup, increasing your attack speed, movement speed. Okay, so that, that's basically like the, the the baby version and the daddy version of the uh, the coffee. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. This guy would be good with the item that doubles healing effectiveness, wouldn't he? Let's do this. I think I've got to do this first. Shift. Can I, I, can't, I can never remember which, which I want to do if I want to shift or don't. I'm pretty sure I do want to shift. Veiled Greater Wisp. Is that? Oh, uh, Veiled is in Invisible. 
Nice, okay. That makes things slightly more tricky. Because I can't see him at all. Where, where, whereabouts is he right now? He's somewhere around here, but I genuinely don't know where. I was just about to say, I'm going to imagine this little pit of enemies here. Oh man, this is beautiful. Look at the fire rate, man. Enter Void Portal. So we can do the Void Portal thing again. I think we will. Try and end off the run over that way. Yes, we got this again. We need to figure out how to actually fight the boss this time. Last time I messed it up, I think. Imagine having just tons of those. So you could just keep doing flip after flip after flip. Oh, you hit me. Oh, no. Oh, I suplex you. And now you're no longer attached to the ground, you fool. Our actual damage, like, when it's a single target just like this isn't very good. It's only once we start getting all of our buffs going that it really gets gets good. Honestly, this is going to be tricky. I might die here. If only my primordial cubes would fire at the enemies that are near me rather than off the way somewhere. What, the, what on earth is this guy doing? My primordial cubes are uh, causing him some issues. You've got to remember these guys have these awful attacks when they die. Oh, one of my equipment drones died. Oh no. That's so much of my power gone. Oh my god, these enemies are really, really tough. No, no. I suplex him off of the map. I repaired my drone. Look at the amount of these fellows. This is insane. My drone buddy. Both of my drone buddies. I'm going to revive you again. Please don't die on me. The last one's all the way over here. Is that the last one or is it the second to last one? Either way, we'll make our way over there. Oh no, there is only three. Okay. So last time I went through a portal here. I think maybe this time it's to go to like the middle or something. Big crap, man. I don't care for you. I'm just going to make you fall off the map. Ah, I, didn't, I was really hoping I could just make him like jump off the map there, but it didn't really work. Oh, look. Look at all the drones over there just getting shit on. Oh, no, no. Oh, they're, they're so dead. They step outside the area. Look, yeah, they're all just fucking dead. Goodbye, my, my sweet beans. Oh, the X's all fell. At this point, I've, got, I've really got to kind of just chill because if I suplex the enemy and, like, accidentally fuck myself, I'll get too close to the enemy and fuck myself. It's not going to be good. I kind of need to attack to maintain my HP, though, so the double-edged sword right now. At least I can't be... Aww. I was going to say, at least I can't be locked down and only slowed. But there you go. Unfortunately, we did die. But we got some interesting stuff unlocked there. Uh, well, not unlocked, but under, like visited. Um, and we can try again the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And hopefully these new mods that I've added um, do add to the series quite a bit. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.